Our eighth presenter is Satvik Devi, whose title is Role of Latches in Latch-Mediated Spring Actuation Systems for High Acceleration Movements in Small-Scale Robots. A grasshopper can jump to about 20 times its body size. If I, as a human, would have to match that, in a single leap, I would have to cover more than a third of a football field. Yeah, that's definitely not happening. And in fact, that's not the only fascinating thing about these grasshoppers and other such small insects. We often use the phrase, in the blink of an eye, to describe something that's really fast, right? Well, the blink of a human eye, on an average, can take about 200, 300 milliseconds long. The jump sequence that powers the jumping movements of these small insects, that happens in a millisecond. That's orders of magnitude faster. In fact, that's not just fast at this point, that is ultra fast. Right? So imagine if we can take inspiration from these small insects and build a small one gram jumping robot. We'd ideally want it to be able to do three things, right? One, of course, jump in a given direction. Number two, have the ability, in spite of its size, to be able to control that jump distance, right? Maybe instead of jumping a meter, jumps half a meter. Or maybe just jump two meters, right? And number three, we'd want it to be able to reliably do this in different environments. Because ultimately, we want these devices deployed out to the real world, right? So imagine if this robot was out there on the cut, right? There's different environments there. There is grass, there is sand, there's also the pavement, which is as hard as a rock. There was snow a couple of days ago, right? So there's whole different environments that the robot would have to adapt its jump to be able to navigate, right? Which is similar to humans as well. Like me jumping on the stage is going to be different from, let's say, jumping off of a diving board by the pool or jumping on a trampoline. So how do we do all of these things while keeping in mind the ultra-fast nature of these movements? That's where my research steps in. It does three important things. Number one, it helps establish a framework that's useful for analyzing these ultra-fast movements in biology and help translate these principles into the realm of engineering, especially small robots. And number two, by building on this framework, we can show how to control these ultra-fast movements. And number three, by further using this framework, we can design these small resource-constrained robots in such a way that they can adapt their jump based on the environment they're jumping from. And we fundamentally are able to do this by relying on the design architecture of these insect-inspired mechanisms. And by addressing these three key research areas, what we are able to do is push the boundaries of our current capabilities when it comes to making these small insect-sized resource-constrained robots where we are able to overcome not only the size limitations, but also the time limitations of operation. Last but not the least, the contribution of my research may be a small step in humanity's knowledge, but it is a giant leap when it comes to insect robots. Thank you. <laughs>